Today I want to go ahead and show you some great tips on how I went about retouching this old historic building in Telluride, Colorado. And this was from a recent trip. But real quick before we get started, for those of you that are new to my videos, um, if you come to my YouTube channel, Michael J. Bauer Photography, and you scroll on down, I do have a couple playlists set up. And one of them is photography tutorials. And right here you'll find a lot of different cool tutorials on Lightroom. And I do have a couple Photoshop ones too on there. And if you scroll down just a little bit farther, I do have one called Photography Social Media Marketing. Um, I actually show you how to create your own photography Facebook page and then I go about showing you the inside tricks on selling your photographs. So if you're interested in making money with your photography, I would definitely recommend checking these videos out right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this was actually shot on a recent trip into Telluride, Colorado. Um, we had a big storm come through and it was on the last morning before we were getting ready to leave to come back home. And I checked the forecast, uh, it was snowing the previous two days while there. And this morning was forecast to be clear and very cold. So I actually got up really early in the morning, set my alarm, headed outside after putting about five layers of clothes on. And I came up to this location where I saw this cool looking courthouse kind of poking through the cottonwoods right here. So I ended up setting up my camera on my tripod and I didn't want to use the remote just because it was just so dang cold. I didn't want to fiddle with the cables and all that. So I just set my self timer to two seconds on the camera and I hit the self timer. That's how I captured the shot. And let me show you the before and I did it all in a raw format. So here's the actual before picture right here. As you can see, it's uh, just looks a little bit darker, but I made sure I got it exposed enough to bring everything out in Lightroom. And then obviously this is the after, after I got done retouching. So, uh, just to show you real quick the settings I use for taking this photograph, I finally settled on 10 seconds, my aperture at 7.1, ISO 400, and I try to keep my ISO as low as possible just so I can, uh, you know, keep the noise reduction down. I had it set around 29 millimeter with the lens. It seemed to come out really good and really sharp, so I was very happy the way this one turned out in the end here. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna reset the photograph from the beginning and we'll go step by step on retouching this. Okay, so here's the actual raw photograph. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna just kinda bump up the exposure a little bit. And I think I'm gonna take this one up to about 25. Now coming down here, you can see I got some of the lights right here. I wanna just bring the highlights down a little bit, just so to about, I'm gonna go about negative 78. And then I'm gonna bring up the shadows, which should help light up the foreground and the cottonwoods. So as you can see, as I bring up the shadows, how much brighter the cottonwoods get. Now I wanna do is adjust my whites and blacks. So I'm going to hold my Option key on my Mac, which is your Alt key on your Windows PC. So let me go ahead and click, and I'm, you see the screen is black. I'm going to go to the right until I start seeing some of the whites blow out. Now I'm going to take it back just a hair. Now same thing with the blacks. I'm just going to slowly take it down just a little bit. And all the dark is basically darkening with the blacks. Okay, I like the way that looks. Let me come on down under the presence and just go ahead and just bump up the clarity to about 10. And I'm not going to mess with the vibrance and saturation right now. I'll come back to that. Scrolling on down. I do like any of you that might have seen some of my past videos, I like to just individually control the saturation on my pictures. So under the HSL color and black and white, I'm actually going to come through and adjust each one of these under the saturation. So I'm just going to slowly bring up each one and I'm kind of looking at the picture at the same time, doing some quick adjustments here. And I'm just trying to get the colors looking real good. And you can always bring these up or down to what might look good for you. Now under highlight split toning, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to come on down to the sharpening. And I want to do is I want to sharpen this up quite a bit since it is the building. I really want to make it pop here. So let's go take this all the way up to about 80. Now under masking, once again, I'm going to hold my option key down. This will be holding your alt key on your PC. And we're going to just going to pull this over. So anything that's in the black is not going to get sharpened so i want to sharpen the edges of the building as you can see it's happening right there okay noise reduction there's actually very little noise on the shot but there's just a little bit 
So I'm going to go ahead and take the noise reduction up to about 25. You want to be careful not to go too high. It'll start looking a little too pasty. Okay, under lens correction, I'm just going to click enable profile correction. So let's just click that and it should automatically come up. If it doesn't, you can always just click one of these drop downs and try to find your camera. Under transform, I want to go ahead and just go click auto which will help straighten up the building as you can see. So let me just show you real quick. This is off and that's on. So you can definitely see the difference there. I like priority. I'm not really gonna touch it for this photograph. Um, I like to use this more for my landscapes during the daytime. And dehaze, I do like using dehaze. So let me just bump this up just a hair. Okay, and now this is where the, I call the magic begins. This is where we're gonna really make this picture pop. Look for the symbol that just looks like a circle. We're gonna click on that one. And I want to do is make sure my exposure is up to about, eh, let's make it about close to 60. And what I want to do is I'm going to just start drawing some little circles here and lighten things up. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of lighten up the upper part of the building here. I could grab it. I could do some individual controls here just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Once again, I'm going to do the lower section here. And the idea, you just want to go kind of settle just to make it, you know, look too crazy looking. But you want to make it also where your photographs do pop and people are like, wow, how do they do that? And this photograph actually did very well out there when I did post it on social media. And I did get inquiries from local people also about purchasing this photograph and getting prints of it for their hotels and lodges down there, which was pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm just kind of taking a little detail. Now, so the reason I'm doing it this way all individually, because it gives it a cooler effect than compared to just using the brush only. So now what I want to do, this is the next trick. I, I do a really big one that kind of covers everything. So see how I'm lighting everything up now. And I can adjust the exposure just a little bit. Let me just bring this down just a hair. And then I want to do is add some clarity just to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm going to hit done. Now the last thing I want to do is just do want to light up these trees a little bit. So I actually use the brush at this point. Once again, make sure my exposure is up pretty good. And then I'm just going to kind of brush around some of the edges here. And I'll take it over here. I'm going to brush a little bit over here just to light this up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit in the foreground. And I'll come back over just the exposure up so you can see what's happening here. Check out this effect. Kind of going up and down here. So it kind of gives it a really cool look to it. That's just kind of the basics. Now let's look at the before and after. So here's the before and this is the after shot as you can see. So let me go back to full. So anyways, I hope this uh, video helped you out. If it did, uh, definitely subscribe and hit that like button down below. Check out the other videos I do have on this channel. And definitely uh, be sure to share this video with anybody you think this is good to help them out. You have yourself a real good day and we'll catch you next time.